know, I bought something that I think might spice things up for us. I'm listening. It's something that's going to give us increased convenience. I like the sound of that. Greater control. Oh, you know I like control. More flavor. I like everything. It's amazing, right? It's a coffee maker. I know. Amazing, right? Why are you showing me this in bed? Well, I've been thinking. Oh, no. I've just been having even more trouble than usual waking up. I noticed. You've been pressing snooze like five times a day. Who doesn't press snooze five times? Oh, I don't know. People who set an alarm for the time they actually want to wake up? Weird. Well, pressing snooze five times is my usual ritual, but lately I've been just about doubling that, so I'm a little worried. And naturally, your answer to this problem is buying a new coffee maker. Uh-huh. I just feel like being closer to the coffee in the morning will help me. Wait. You want to put this in the bedroom? What's wrong with that? It doesn't belong here. Does the 15-foot walk down the hall and into the kitchen really make that much of a difference? Kendrick, this is the thing that makes life in the morning possible for me. It is my reason for waking up and the thing that comes closest to sparking joy in my morning. Without it, there's no hope for me. Um, do you think maybe you're addicted to caffeine? Uh, I run solely on caffeine and sarcasm. Have you tried to stop drinking it? Have we met? Do you know what I feel like when I first finally wake up? I mean, the most dangerous drinking game I could play is to stop drinking coffee. It would not end well for either of us. When did you become so hooked? I don't remember the exact moment. Like so many others that came before me, I started with all the tasty delicacies that Star Cups has to offer. You know the ones. The frappe mocha latte whipped cappuccino options. But then as my body began to acclimate to that amount of caffeine, more was required to achieve the same stimulated sensation. First I started by increasing the size. Then I stopped adding milk and sugar. Now the coffee that I drink is something between a gelatinous espresso and tar. And that gives you energy. Oh god no. I no longer feel the same spark that I used to when I first started drinking it. Now I just drink it a function. This is bad. I've come to terms with it. Plus, there are a lot of other benefits to drinking so much coffee. It keeps my hands warm in the morning. It's great for procrastinating. What's that? It's the tendency to not start anything until you've had a cup of coffee. Anyway, it also helps me mimic socially acceptable behavior. Because jail is a real thing. Have you tried other energy drinks, like Red Ball? They say it gives you springs. I once drank two of those after I had already had several of my special blends, and I swear I could hear sound. So I'm trying to stay away from those. Did your parents drink this much coffee? Mommy, why do you drink coffee? Because it helps mommy wake up. It tastes so gross. There's a lot of things that you might think are gross now, but you'll change your mind on as you grow older, honey. Like what? You'll find out soon enough, sweetie. Don't rush it. Hey, Margaret, do you know if it's supposed to rain today? Do I look like a fortune teller? <sighs> you know mommy loves you, right? You know I love you, right, babe? Yeah. Well, like all other conversations that have come before this one, I will have the final word. So, coffee maker stays. Mama's gonna sleep good tonight knowing you're close by. Oh, you like that video, huh? Well, then subscribe. What the f*** are you waiting for? Oh, I'm sorry. You don't like cursing? Well, f*** that. How does a person even make it through life without cursing? You know what? I'm not classy, and I don't pretend to be. Anyway, if you don't subscribe, you're missing out on new videos every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eh, whatever. It's up to you.